Tom truly just devastating. Family members have identified that woman to me as Robin Balcom. They tell me she worked here at this Cracker Barrel for 34 years. Really a dedicated employee who spent her life trying to help others. And right now they want her to be remembered as a hero. Family members sent me these pictures of Robin Balcom and sent us a statement saying she was an extremely hardworking woman. She loved her job, her customers, her employees, and her family. She leaves behind a husband, three children, and also a grandmother who they say she absolutely worshiped those grandchildren. Now her family says that she is their hero and they hope that's exactly how she's going to be remembered as because she lost her life trying to protect her employees. Deputies sharing surveillance footage of the suspect accused of shooting her to death. Around 6.15 a.m., deputies say a man got out of the passenger seat of a Dodge Charger and asked an employee who was waiting to be let in if the restaurant was open. When he got out of the car, deputies say he tried to steal that employee's purse, and that's when Balcom opened the door to let the employee in and tried to block the suspect from getting inside. The manager was trying to push back on the door, and he discharged one round at the manager. Um, and then they all fled. Now she later passed away at the hospital. Deputies are looking for the gunman who got away in a 2018 or newer model metallic gray charger. We did reach out to Cracker Barrel to get a statement. No, they sent us this before we learned that Robin Balcom had unfortunately passed away. That statement reads in part, we are saddened that a manager has been seriously injured due to the actions of the manager who was protecting other employees. There was no other casualties. The safety of our team members and guests is always our highest priority, and we're proud of our team who handled the situation as well as we did. Now, right now, the store is closed, but the family is really hoping that they're going to get justice for their loved one. They're asking anyone who has any information to come forward. So if you do have any information, you're asked to contact the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Live in North Harris County, I'm Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.